it is illegal for a person or corporation to directly or indirectly practice intimidation or coercion through the use of force, violence, restraint, or threats in order to induce or compel a person to vote or refrain, refrain from voting for a particular candidate or on a particular political issue. Further, it is illegal for a person or corporation to use abduction, duress, coercion, or any other forcible or fraudulent means to impede, prevent, or otherwise interfere with a person's right to vote. Individuals who intimidate voters can be fined up to $5,000 and face up to two years in prison. And in fact, by the way, one way of one form of voter intimidation is to normally publish and disseminate misleading or false information about voting. And I'm here to tell you unequivocally, and soon you'll see a press release, joint press release from my office, the Department of State, and the Attorney General, making it clear and, and giving examples of forms of intimidation and misinformation that anyone that is identified, either by the Attorney General's office, my office, or identified by others as providing misleading information with the purpose to intimidate or to coerce someone or to threaten a person so that they don't get the chance or feel reservations about the right to vote, any such conduct will be investigated and potentially prosecuted. This is no joking matter, I want to make that very clear.